for him, you don't cheer for me. I know why. Why? Because you suck. Fail. Is he your dad? No, I don't know that guy. You don't know he, him. He gave me a discount. He gave you a discount. Is he giving away all the fresh meat that I have here in the back? Yeah. He does not speak. Can I have a translator? Does anybody speak Spanish and English? Me. What's your name? Rudy. Rudy. All right, Rudy. Can you tell him if he's giving away all my meat? All again? Anda dando ustedes la carne todo, la asada, el buche, todo, la cacheta. Sí. Tell him if he keeps doing that, I will have to fire him. Que lo siga haciendo, que lo repita. Tú regalas para toda la gente. Okay. Tell him. Last warning. Que tú no tuve trabajo. Gracias. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. We have understanding. I understand. Thank you very much. All You're right, a good man. Butcher. Ladies and gentlemen, we're still here at the butcher shop, still celebrating Cinco de Mayo. And right now, I have a special guest that was at Frankincense, went to go meet up with Ric Flair. And there was a contest over there of doing the biggest woo! Let me introduce to you Mr. Jeff Montgomery. All right. Pleasure to be here at the butcher shop with you, brother. Jeff, Jeff, thank, thank you very much. That's uh, right. Would you, would you, could you fill me in more detail exactly what went down over at Frankincense when you met up with Ric Flair? Well, you know, there was a big event yesterday at Frankincense, and everybody, all the fans were walking around. They were asking themselves one quintessential question. And which was? What's cause in all this? And the one easy answer is the greatest performer in the history of the WWE, TNA, WCW, it doesn't matter, was there. The 16-time world heavyweight champion, the Nate Jubal. And they had, for the fans, the super fans like me, a contest. A Ric Flair wooing contest. And it was the biggest crock of you know what that I have ever, happy? ever seen. Wait, uh, can you give us a prox how many people were there that did the Wu contest? Well, there were a lot of people that did the contest. They narrowed it down to five finalists. Then it was narrowed down to the top two, which one of them was me. For some reason, it wasn't good enough, even though my opponent was not even half the man that I am. But he had about 50 friends out in the crowd that helped him win. It was fair, and it was the biggest miscarriage of justice that has ever taken place at Frank and Sons because everybody knows that watches this interview, that saw the five interviews that I did yesterday for every television crew that was there, that came to see Ric Flair, that found me, that wanted to do my interview. Not anybody else, just me. And for me to walk away with second place is a miscarriage of justice, my friend. And I hope the winner out there is listening because anytime you want to go one-on-one -on -one with Jeff Montgomery to see who can do the best, woo, Nate Javon, I invite you to do it. And anybody else, that wants to come out and say that I wasn't number one, if you got the guts, come out and do it. Because if you want to be true to yourself and true to everybody that's out there and be 100% man, there is no way that you can say that Jeff Montgomery isn't the greatest out there. Woo! All right, Jeff, let's hear a real big woo. One for Ric Flair, one for the Ric Flair fans out there. Let's hear it. I'll give you one last one for all the limousine riding, jet flying, kiss stealing, wheeling dealing, son of a gun that was there at Frank and Sons. We had a great time yesterday, and I'll leave you with one last woo. Woo! Thanks Very good. Lot, I was like, can you do a strut like Ric Flair? You know. Oh, yeah. We can yeah. dance all night, dance a little longer, baby. Right. And right. we are here at the butcher shop at the Wrestling Guy, Huntington Park, California. Big Zeke is in the Woo! house. We're having a great time. And Woo! we are going to be partying all night long. Woo! Woo! All right, guys, guess what? I got a great surprise for you. I got one more person I would like to bring out. Guess who I'm bringing? Who? Who? Me. Luchero, come on. Mr. Chavo Guerrero!
they were made of this. <laughs> Chavos. Thanks, thanks for coming over to the shop today. Yeah, you know, we're celebrating Cinco de Mayo. Wrestling guy store right here, right? Definitely. Yeah, right. You gotta take it. No, it, it's oh. actually it's Lonchero's twin brother. Oh, it's twin brother. It's David, twin brother, right? David. Yeah, exactly. Right. David. Okay, okay, okay. So, you know, David couldn't be here, but David and Lonchero, he's got a few words he would like to tell you. Bienvenido. Yeah, oh, Thank you. Can you use a sandwich or something? Uh, uh, no, cook me up or something. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you, boy. Right. Well, anyways, Charlo. We're going to be going now, but you know what? It's Cinco de Mayo, so everybody, let's all say, Viva la Raza! Viva!